to use Framer as a designer, it's free. And that is amazing about them. Another great thing about their pricing is it has been simplified. It is super simple to understand, but it's quite expensive. So they have this basic plan that costs 10 euros per month that is not useful. You, you cannot use this mm -hmm. for pretty much any website except like a simple portfolio. Um, it, it gives you one CMS collection, which is better than nothing, but it's not really useful. Like yeah. you can't, you can't do a blog with a tag. That's insulting. Yeah. It's That's like, what, what it's do for, you mean? It's, it's for a blog. That's all that I want. No, if you can't like, even for a blog, you have authors, you have tags. And if you yeah. want to build something proper, you need for a blog, you need like three... no blog. <laughs> yeah. Like it's, I don't know. It's really, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So if you want to, to build something that simple, you shouldn't even pay 10 bucks. You could just build it in Webflow, export it to Netlify, whatever, and you just don't pay anything. Anyway, the, the basic plan doesn't have staging, which is uh, zoom in a bit, staging and pitch, instance pitch rollback. Yeah. Nice. Well, I don't understand how that can be used. You don't have backups. Anyway, so that's the basic. Then we have the pro, which is uh, the, the pro is even worse. You have 30 euros per month. So, so that is quite an upgrade. And if you pay annually, if you pay monthly, it's 45. So th Oof. that's, that's quite expensive. If you want to just, you know, get in and try your website for a few months, that's very expensive. And here you get only 10 CMS collections. And why am I saying only? Because I went back, I, I checked my client websites, the, the websites that we have launched this year for our clients, none of them have the less than 10 CMS collections. So we cannot practically, we cannot use this. 10 CMS collections is not enough because you have testimonials, you have like your blog, you have your authors, you have people okay, to I add know. in. Uh, it, it adds up quickly and you have like a fancy navigation, for example, like for one of our clients, we have a fancy navigation and we want to make it as easy as possible for the client to manage those uh, items in the navigation. We use the CMS. So the CMS mm -hmm. is not just for a blog. It's no, it's used for any repeatable like content type that you have that you want to kind of like use globally, like your FAQs um your glossary so 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 many things anyway so this is quite expensive now that's not the end of it because uh you get only 10 cms collections for 45 bucks a month if you pay monthly you get 2500 items it's uh, okayish I'm, I'm not yeah that that's okayish but if you add an editor somebody else who can with another account join the project to edit the project it costs another 50 per editor are you oh kidding me God. are you kidding me where are they it's coming just, up with these numbers like why like what is the justification behind this like is it like the platform costs? Like what, 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 what is the justification? Like you can't just make up, well, I guess you can, but this is just made up prices. Um, anyway, translations cost 25 per local. And by the way, these are like annually, uh, monthly. If we do mm, annually, a it's little a little discount. bit better, 40 bucks per editor. It's still really bad. Most people, people are, well, I say mo most people are thinking, you think of your website in multiple years. You don't think of your website in multiple months, yeah. really, do you? Unless you're playing around, but like, yeah. yeah, it's still, it's expensive. It's expensive and 20 bucks per local, per like translation. So if you add another language, you pay 20 euros per month per language. Mm. <clears throat> it adds up quickly. And now that's not it. The problem is that the pro is so small that it really fast, like actually fast for any client project. It pushes you to the next one, which is scale. It's a hundred euro per month per website. And it's annually only. So you, you are paying 1200 euros. Yeah. Yes. 
1,200 euros for your website. And just with that, you now have like custom local regions. You have like A-B testing. You didn't have that before. And you have, now you have 20 collections. And even that is to me insulting that you pay a hundred euros for 20 collections. With Webflow, you pay, I believe you pay like 30 euros for like 40 collections. It's just much better, like with Webflow. So this is what I said, like contrary to popular belief, Webflow is actually much cheaper than Framer. Uh, webflow.com. I will make a video on this, like going in more details, but yeah. What do they in know Webflow. that we don't know? Because they can't just be pulling a, putting their finger out into the wind and thinking $50 per editor. 23, see? Like, $23, not euros. Yeah. Yeah, and you get here, you get 20 collections. This is, this with Framer, this cost 100. It's just like... Mm. <laughs> four times over than four times more expensive. Actually, like if you do dollar to euro, it's five times more expensive. So they say, you know, unlimited uh, Figma designer or Framer designer, sorry, um, design pages. Yeah, unlimited pages, unlimited, uh, you know, whatever. But they're making it up once you then, you know, um, what's the opposite of churn when you when you promote yourself to a paid plan because their paid plans are crazy expensive but then it's yeah. like well you get the designer and that's the, that'll be their way to justify it. you get the designer for 100 euros per month do you know what i mean yeah yeah but, yeah and what i like with webflow now they have this uh, they yeah. previously had this thing that you would go from cms to business and then you would you would be pushed towards enterprise which is expensive in with every company um but now webflow allows you to basically choose the amount that you actually need and independently, like if you need more CMS items, you buy more CMS items. If you need more bandwidth, but you buy more bandwidth. You need to bandwidth. combine the fact that Webflow charge per site per with organization, right? There's two types of plans. So what is it? Yes. What is the total? But it doesn't the- matter for your client because your client doesn't pay for workspace. So workspace plan is for agencies. This is essentially okay. me. Sure. If I want to have a big team, I pay for, I do, yep. I do pay for mm-hmm. For the but team most, functional. Most agencies, uh, sorry, so most clients should probably upgrade to a plan because, you know, you no, can spin like off most little, of, no, really, most they're, of they're, my they're clients. More than happy. Yes. Mm. I always found no. the, when I worked with big clients, they had agency plans or whatever because they would have little, they would have landing pages and they would have yes. other websites, you know, they wouldn't then, just yes. have one website. Yes, in that case, um, they will. So I have some clients who do pay for workspace plans, but most of like, mo- like 90% of my clients are minimum. on the free version. So it's an extra so, 20 bucks for that. And and so, so do frame a ch- with that say, let's say for that $40 per, is that the workspace as well with multiple sites? That's the, that's the good thing that I mentioned that uh, earlier on that you don't have that. So that is free. Okay. But so, if you add editors to a website, mm-hmm. it costs again, like 30 euros per editor. So it's kind of, it's different, but it could get more expensive even than the Webflow workspace because you're paying per editor, which in Webflow you pay Make sure you do that in your video then. Yeah, because like, you know, you've got to take into account that you've got to look at your current audience, uh, sorry, your, your customers and say, well, how many of them have multiple designers and developers? Because, you know, um, if you only got one, if most of them only have one, then you have to worry about the fifty dollar extra or whatever, or fifty euro extra. But um, there is a total that we need to take into account. But it does feel like that Framer are just a bit more expensive. But then you too get the designer. That is a selling point, to be well, honest. Well, <laughs> well, here's the thing: if you say Webflow has like this agency plan, mm. this is for your workspace. So you would have you even if you pay this. You pay this for your entire, you know, for per for that person for the that that's like access to the team, and then you would have yeah. unlimited projects, etc. Mm-hmm. And then when you, what do you do with those projects? With those project, you are going to go your live. Like so planned. Webflow is going to be much li- like much cheaper when it comes to 
actually utilizing the projects mm -hmm. that you have on your dashboard and mm -hmm. setting them live in because with framer you would have to add editors so framer kind of like to me it gets not exponentially but it gets much more expensive per site that you add because sure. the individual sites are so much more expensive mm -hmm. with webflow yes i agree and this workspace plan like i i think webflow should get rid of this i don't know their numbers but i don't imagine i can't imagine they are making a big chunk of their money from this because this is only bigger teams who pay for this and the, if you just look at it just imagine the numbers i assume we have by far more live websites than teams. Yeah. Does that make well, sense? Well, yeah. I mean, I so look forward to the video money, and, and seeing all these, looking at all these different use cases, because there are several use cases. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. it'd be interesting to see who comes out on top. Do three yeah. different use cases and see who comes out on top of each of them. I can imagine. That, that's a good idea. Yeah. You know. yeah. So um, I'll do a more in depth video. Uh, but yeah. This is this is still quite expensive. I I need to look into the community what the Framer community says. I because I actually don't know. I haven't checked Twitter today all that much. Mm. So this is part of a larger conversation on my show Command AI, which we stream live every single week. We discuss the news and all things related to AI in the world of design and web. Catch us next week and join in the banter.